Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Peduto and city leaders spent the day in budget meetings staring at a hole of $100 million. KDKA's Megan Schiller joins us live to explain why the mayor said this could mean cuts to key positions in the city. Megan. Christine, Mayor Bill Peduto said he's concerned about our first responders, our police officers, paramedics, and firefighters. And it's for that reason he's calling on the White House and the entire federal government to show their support for the men and women in uniform and help cities like Pittsburgh keep them on the payroll. Mayor Peduto met with leaders in every department Monday, putting together a draft for next year's budget. He tells me without more funding, the city's $100 million short. With our uh, prudent budgeting over the past six years and ending each year with a surplus, our rainy day fund will be able to take care of it for this year. But next year, Mayor Peduto said he's left with very few choices. We can't raise taxes on people who are already hurting. Uh, we can't borrow our way because that's the mistake we made in the past. He said the cuts will need to come from every department. And that will hurt uh, police officers, firefighters, medics, the people working in finance, parks and recreation, the mayor's office. Yeah. All of our different departments will be affected. City controller Michael Lamb put it in perspective. Is our city in trouble financially? I, I would say that we are in trouble like every other city is, but I would actually argue that the city is probably um, in less trouble than some. He credits the surplus and a hiring freeze for keeping the city on track. We'll be able to get through 2020 by dipping into that savings account. Um, but once you get beyond that, you know, in 2021, we need to know that there's going to be some kind of resolution, whether it's federal funding or whether it's uh, getting back to more normal uh, times. I also reached out to the Pittsburgh Department of Public Safety today and found out that both the police department and the fire department say they don't want to handle any cuts right now. For instance, the fire department has 17 current vacancies. And they tell me with planned retirements and also the length of time it takes to train recruits in both departments, those departments say any potential cuts would be a real concern. Reporting live tonight on Mount Washington, Megan Schiller, KDK News.